Good morning, everyone. I feel like I'm washed out. Okay, I just need a new camera, you guys. Anyway, I woke up with the sniffles because... Excuse me. It was so hot last night, and I turned my air on, and I had my fan going, of course. And so I just woke up a little bit of a runny nose. Not the Rona, you guys. I'm sorry I have to put you guys here. It's just a weird angle, I know. Okay, let me get going and maybe this lighting will change. So that's better. So you guys, I have the Canon G7X and I need an upgrade, definitely, because this is an old camera. <laughs> and so Melissa, remember when you helped me with the settings for the lighting because it was getting dark? So we thought that once I turned the camera off and back on again, the settings will reset. It didn't, so that's the reason why I was looking so washed out. So apparently, I could have used it that night. So anyway, it is Sunday, and Sunday morning. I'm on my way to the hair shop because I want a new ponytail, because the one that I got, the long one, I don't like it. It's too long to wear to work. <laughs> and just until you guys, I figure out what I'm going to do with my hair, because I honestly don't know. Maybe I will go to a shop and find out what their procedures are. Not that I'm afraid, I'm not, but I just wanna be cautious. And at the wedding, you guys, that was the most people I have been around other than going to Walmart and Target and, you know, stores like that since all this started. And I did have my mask. I had it on in the beginning, but I took it off right before we walked down the aisle when the ceremony started. Honestly, if it wasn't my son's wedding, of course, I wouldn't go because, you know, you're being around a large group of people. But um, I sat with family and yeah, I sat with family and not that you can't get it from family, but I'm just praying all will be okay. I'm here at the hair shop and they don't open until 11 o'clock. It's 1035. I thought it opened up at 10, but that's the hours during the weekday. And then Sundays, I looked online, they open up at 11. So I have to sit here. It's not a very great neighborhood. I think I may actually turn around and come back because as soon as I parked, as soon as I parked, you guys, some guy came up to my car and of course I'm sitting here, the car's running, the air's on, the door's locked, windows are up and I don't know what he wanted and I just shook my head no. Kind of rude, but safety safety first you guys didn't have on a mask and he said something and I just shook my head nope and I put my my car in reverse like I'm gonna drive and you are not gonna do anything so now he's at another car I don't know what he's what he's asking them but I don't want to stay here for 25 minutes you guys I'm trying to see if I can show you guys the guy oh my goodness There's a guy that's over there in, is it a blue hat, green hat, whatever, walking away with the backpack. That's the one who came over to my car. So by the way, you guys, I can show you this because I don't live over here, but I'm on Mac Road and everyone knows Mac Road is not the safest place to be. It didn't used to be this way. Mac Road used to be really nice and everyone wanted to live here or whatnot. But anyway, I'm in this little shopping center and there's a rainbow, um, Oh, it's just called Rainbow. And then I actually want to go in there one day. KY Home Pet and Garden. But I don't know. I just don't like coming over here. There's a DD's over there. Um, I don't shop at DD's. Nothing's wrong with shopping at DD's. But I don't know. I just don't go. I haven't seen anything in there that I'm that makes me want to go back. That's the hair shop that I normally go to. And also, there's also one over there called the Wig Outlet. They have ponytails and braiding hair as well, but this one is bigger, so that's the reason why I go to this one. So, I got two ponytails, you guys. Um, this one right here, that's what it looks like. Sorry, you guys, my battery died. Anyway, I'm back home now, but this is one of the ponytails that I got. That's what it should look like. And then, yes, it was $12. <laughs> and then this is the second one. So, yeah, until I figure out what's going on with this head, you guys, ponytails it is. You guys, 
this editing has been a pain in the butt because I finally got all the pictures and videos back from everyone because I want to like do a little mixture of mine and theirs from what I didn't get and apparently my computer updated right so after it updated I wasn't able to import the pictures off my phone just as simple as I normally was able to do before so I had to figure out how to do that because I have an Apple phone but then my computer is not Apple products so I had to figure out how to import it and sync it whatever finally done so I haven't even started like editing pictures yet I spent literally like three hours trying to figure it out so <sighs> here we go <laughs> You remember? No kissing. Remember I said no kissing. <laughs> okay, you guys. It's actually the next day, and I know you guys are crooked. Let me see if I can fix that without dropping you guys. Okay. So anyway, um, it's the next day. There's a lot going on right now, so I'm just going to try to give you guys like a quick brief in a nutshell as to what's happening. So let me back up a little bit. So at Tyreek's wedding, I enjoyed myself. It was so nice and beautiful it was rustic right along my alley because you guys know i like that look you guys know if you have been watching me for a long time you guys know i don't do grass right when we go somewhere and there's grass i will find the path that's around the grass to not step in the grass because the grass has to be firm and hard and pretty much dead in order for me to step on it and even then i'm like mm -mm. but if it's squishy or whatever like that i ugh, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies right so i'm not gonna not go to my son's wedding because the grass but it was all on the grass right so i literally had to put my mind in someplace else pretty much the whole night i mean i did enjoy myself but i had to like get out my head because especially when i was sitting down at the table eating and my feet were on the ground. I mean, my mind was just racing, but I had to like get out my head. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just thought it was so funny. I'm like, if anyone knew my thoughts right now, they'd be like, this woman is crazy. So that was nice, but also on Tyreek's wedding day. So I have a great aunt who used to live here in Sacramento when I was younger and I grew up around her. My kids did, not so much Savannah, because at the time when she, when my family moved to Southern California, um, she moved to, and then Savannah was a little girl. So anyway, uh, she was in a nursing home and she did pass away due to COVID. She was 93. She had other issues going on. And yeah, she um, passed away on Tariq's wedding day. So even though they weren't as close to her as I was and when I say close I mean like I was raised up around her so I'm pretty saddened by the news so I told everyone I said don't tell Tyreek because I don't feel that he should get any bad news and even though I'm putting this up before he gets back from his honeymoon hopefully he won't watch any YouTube videos on his honeymoon just enjoy where he is and I'm not gonna say where he is because when this video goes up he's still going to be there so just for safety reasons and not that anything's gonna happen but whatever just for safety reasons so she passed away on Tariq's wedding day so we told everyone not to tell him so he could enjoy his day and um, we'll let him know when he gets back he lives in Louisiana and so my work got put off for a few more weeks got a call or got a text from my boss so I'm not mad about that so since I'm not having to go to work my mom was like well can you help me drive to Louisiana and technically a three-day drive but if you're driving constantly, have someone to drive constantly, you could make it there in a day and a half. My family has done it before when we've gone to Louisiana, when my great grandmother, when she passed away, we drove there and was there in a day and a half. Everyone just took turns. And then on the way home, I remember, I think I rode with my aunt and I think we made it home in a day. I want to get this video edited and uploaded and scheduled so you guys can see this after the wedding video. So after this, you guys won't see a video for a while because I will be in Louisiana. I will be, I will try to Snapchat or Instagram my journey, but I will be vlogging. But for the funeral, and I say it like that because it's not going to be a funeral, I guess, due to COVID in Louisiana. They are only letting people view the body and send people at a time and then to leave out. So that's sad, but 
it is what it is so anyway you guys i am about to finish getting ready i'm driving to my mom's house today and then bright and early tomorrow morning we're gonna get up and head on out down the road to louisiana so anyway you guys thank you so much please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys when i come back Bye.